we're gonna see one of the originals. Don't judge me too much. And we came in the backyard and he was like, oh my God, it's a pond. And I said, listen to this. You heard Aquascape? Everybody's heard Aquascape. I said, this is the first pond Greg Whitstock sold. He dug this out with a shovel by hand. This is pond one. Oh, and of course, look at the waterfalls coming in. Oh yeah. That's a natural koi pedicure. <laughs> yeah, they don't know where those toes have been. <laughs> so we are here at Bill and Wade Reed, two brothers that we probably 23, 24 years ago built this pond. We got our Starbucks, right, Brian? Yeah. Where's your Starbucks? Well, I left it in there. Well, here, why don't you get your Starbucks? Hmm. Your Starbucks. See, look how thoughtful he is. This is Brian Helfrich, Vice oh. President of Chicago Land Construction. And this is one of your neighbors. Cheers, bud. And every time we're here, we spend a long time, so we wanted to make sure we brought our coffee this with is, us. This is one of my all-time favorite ponds, even though it's extremely old and done with a, a lot of old-school technology, meaning that technology... Small rocks. Small rocks. I mean, mm -hmm. most of the rock is really, really small, but when you see this, it really shows how important design is yep. and landscape. Yep. And somebody who loves it. And, and a hobbyist. Good. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome to the Reed Brothers Backyard. I've been wanting to put this pond on one of our pond tours for so many years, and one of the main reasons is it's been an inspiration to me ever since I've started with Aquascapes, or actually even before I started with Aquascapes. Hey, hey Wade, how are you? Oh. Doing some piano lessons today? No. How are you doing, sir? Yeah. Good to see ya. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, you see why we brought our coffee? We're not leaving. <laughs> look, at, look at all the fish coming up. I mean, who would not want this in their yard? I mean, this is just literally heaven on earth. We were just saying the shishui, that's the orange one with the gray spine there. Yep. 26 years old. They get loved on, that is for sure. My favorite things, Greg, with this pond mm -hmm. is, um, and you can picture this, but look at the space from the garage to the fence over here. 25 lot feet. The entire lot is not even 55 feet wide, right? Right. And so look at, and look at how the pond just kind of goes and goes and goes. It wants to draw you across that mm -hmm. bridge. There's something very psychological about a bridge, and and, uh, and you notice like a lot of our projects have bridges or stepping stones or something. And the reason we do that is the psychological part behind it is there's not a person in the world that can resist crossing it. But if you're going to put a bridge in, it has to lead to something. There's nothing more annoying than a bridge that doesn't lead somewhere. And their bridge, which is really a big focal point of their pond, leads you to like an enormous surprise on the back side of it. I just love the whole garden, right? Like, look at how much they're into this. Like, it's just immaculate. And they've created this little, like, hidden garden pathway that kind of leads you and it's the same thing you don't see where it goes so when you can't see the end of it you're compelled like the curiosity pulls you that way so you really just want to kind of walk through it and, and you discover more and more plants as you walk through there here's look at we cross that bridge yeah. and look at how much bigger their pond continues to go listen to these guys guy was born in here. The biggest fish was born in here. I always come, I want to check this out every time. You guys are passionate hobbyists. Look at that. Now this is in the uh, 50s. Probably about 1953. That's a great year, yeah. I've heard. <laughs> this is the end of the line. Here's your little wave right? Just when you think it stops here, just like the pond. <laughs> it just keeps going and drawing you in. <laughs> so cool.
I was two years old when this railroad track started getting built. I wasn't born. <laughs> fact that giant koi can live in an aquascape ecosystem that you don't have to pull all the rock and gravel out. In fact, the Reed brothers have never ever had their pond cleaned. That means they've never drained this water, they've never power washed the rocks, they've never had to come in here and deal with sludge and all that kind of stuff. They are um, in love with their pond, they do spend some time out here, they have nets where they'll occasionally grab out some of the leaves that fall in here. They do net their pond in the fall when the magnolia is dropping all of its leaves. You can see they obviously trim their water lilies. They don't let all that dying, decomposing leaf matter stay on the bottom. They pull that stuff out. So with a little bit of maintenance, you too can have a pond that you never ever clean. Well, I've been coming to this property for over 25 years. It never ceases to amaze me. What an incredible, two passionate guys from modern railroads to ponds. These guys are just really neat and they take care of everything so pristine. Like this pond has never been cleaned. That's how pristine it is. They're living the aquascape lifestyle the way the lifestyle should be lived, which is to have it be part of your life. And that's what they've done here. And this is just a spectacular paradise. It literally feels like time stops here. And every time I'm here, it's just so, utterly relaxing. And I don't know why everybody wouldn't want this in their yard. I think that the neighbors have grass, the neighbors over there have grass, and they've got this regular size lot, maybe a little deep, not that wide, yet they have this paradise in their backyard. I built this pond. This is the very first pond that I ever sold, 1990, 27 years ago. Wow. We're gonna see one of the originals. Don't judge me too much. We all start somewhere, but the fact is it's still working. It's still functioning. Just to, for someone to live in the house, same house for 27 yeah. years is a long time. Hey, oh. long time no see. <laughs> you still at Ohio State? I'm still, still a Buckeye. This is Jim Selron, the owner of Rumpel Shirt Skin. Yes, I am. Come on back, yeah. take a look at it. Water, Ed. Look at that water oh, quality. Awesome. My turbidity oh, is always perfect. I have no idea what I do right. Look yeah. at the frog. It's got a leaf. It's got a leaf yeah, bottom. Yeah. He's totally hidden under there. The liner is now 27 years old, huh? You said you replaced the streamliner. Yeah, because it, yeah, it, it shrinks and settled. Look at the ties. Look at how all the ties have all deteriorated. Oh my gosh, they're still the railroad ties. Yeah. Factor. And 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 here's how long ago this was. I actually put this brick patio in. Oh my gosh. I, I was like, oh, I'll do the patio too. And <laughs> I would much rather build ponds than do patios. I could, I could tell you that. See these big guys? Yes. All these big guys that were born in here. Wow. wow. Yeah. So yeah. you've had the original fish, the big ones, and then they've had offspring. Well, well, yeah, exactly. I've had koi at, at times, and mm -hmm. the heron found out yep. that's a delicacy. Would, I mean, look at the moss growing yeah. and the rocks. and so. I start out every morning, as long as the weather cooperates, right here in this chair, yes. just here talking to the guys and you know, pondering life. Yes, amen. <laughs> and I've got a lot of life to ponder. I'm 70 <laughs> years old now, so. Looking good. Yeah, you look so in good gotta, shape, yeah. my man. Check this out from the back. You got to see the back <laughs> in the back here. These were the original timbers. This is this is, shows how old I am. This is what if I if I was a timber, this is about what I would look like, I think. If you 
like this stuff, do me a favor. Like, comment, and share this so more people can see what living the Aquascape lifestyle is about because I think more people need the stress-reducing qualities that a water feature brings. This is, a, this is an incredible gift this yard is for them and uh, to be able to be a part of that by building this thing almost 25 years ago now, it's just incredible. I love my job.